Hello and good morning. Um, let me start off by saying I technically do not watch P Valley. It's not my thing. I, I, I don't actually enjoy watching women strip and stuff and I like turns out I like to watch the men strip, but oh sorry, got to erase that off. But um the the show is much deeper than stripping. It's much deeper than that. There's a whole subplot. That's those are just really small scenes in the show. I know that. For whatever reason, that's the only reason I can think of. I've never gotten into the show. I've heard it's a good show. Here's what I do. I watch the reviews of P-Valley. I don't actually watch the show. And I'm not paying for stars. But anyway, I get up this morning and I see a uh, little Duvall. And he's talking about he likes P-Valley. He doesn't have any issue with gay people. But this here, this here, what he saw was too much. Too much. So let's talk about it. I'm going to do a part one talking about what little Duvall said. Then I'm going to do a part two about my twisted views about this. And it's going it's not at all what y'all think it is. It's twisted, but I guarantee it's not what you think it is. So let's go into part one about little Duvall and see what he said. Okay. The header says, Lil Duvall says P-Valley lost him after a steamy, intimate scene with Lil Murder and Big Teak. Lil Duvall says, yeah, P-Valley lost me. They need a super gay advisory on movies <laughs> like they got for everything else. Because that's a lot to see if you're not used to it. People went in on him on the comments. Some people, actually, quite a few people agree with, with uh, Lil Duvall. But then you had some people were like, well, if you didn't like it, just turn it. If you didn't like it, just turn it. Why are you watching it? Well, people are watching P-Valley because the majority of the show does center around women in the strip club industry. And there are intimate scenes, but people are used to seeing heterosexual scenes. People, uh, from what I heard, the first season, Uncle Clifford did get uh, banged out. And then somewhere in last episode or something, Cliff was having some intimacy. But nothing this graphic. So little Duvall has a right to his opinion. Um, some people might read what he said and think it's homophobic. Personally, I don't think it's homophobic. Little for little Duvall, this is actually very tame and very uh very vanilla for him to say. Little Duvall is a can be very offensive. So in this statement, he I don't think he went too far. He just said Y'all, this is too much for me. Okay. Here we go. I can watch gay people all day, but I don't want to see them F. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll dissect that in a minute. And that's not homophobic because I feel the same way about my mama. I can watch my mama, but I don't want to see my mama F. <laughs> Do y'all get it? That was, that was his question. Do y'all get it? Uh, that's an interesting way to put that little Duvall. So let's attack the first part or let's dissect the first part. He said he can watch gay people all day, but I don't want to see them F. You know what? Okay. That is little Duvall's right. Little Duvall does not have to want to see, uh, gay people do that. But I saw the scene. I just saw it a few minutes ago. I wasn't going to talk about this and not watch it. That, that wouldn't make any sense. Um, pretty early on, when the condom came out and went into that man's boca, that's when you knew what time it was. There was a nice three seconds that let you know whether you wanted to keep going forward with this. God dang. Whether you wanted to keep going forward. God, jeez, y'all. All my business coming on my phone. I have to put this my phone in airplane mode. The problem is sometimes I go on the internet while I'm recording in the middle of the video to show other things. And that's why I can't put it on airplane mode. Because it is so unprofessional having parts of your life pop into the video. My apologies. But um, it gives you three seconds in that scene to let you know whether you want to keep deep, deep diving in or fast forward. So little Duvall chose to keep dive chose to keep diving in. He has a right to not want to watch it. Makes sense to me. 
So little Duvall, why did you watch it? I had a choice to watch it and I watched it. I'm not complaining because I knew what I was about to watch. And it was very obvious when that prophylactic came out and that dude had it in his mouth. If you are a grown up, you knew what time it was about to be. <laughs> I thought that was actually kind of interesting. But anyway, um, and he said, and that's not homophobic because I feel the same way about my mama. Uh, so here we go. You're going to have a, a lot of uh, people who are gay in the comments. Not a lot. Let me not do that. You, you're going to have some gay people in the comments who are going to be like, yeah, that's homophobic that you don't want to see. It's the same argument. Remember when the trans community tried to come out? And again, I keep saying as a general, I cannot speak for all trans people. Some trans people tried to come out and say, if you as a straight person are not willing to date a trans person, you are transphobic. Um, and last time I checked, I like weenuses. If somebody is a trans man but has a vagina, no, I don't want to date them. If somebody is a trans woman and has a weenus, it's men who don't want to date them. And that's not transphobic. That's a preference issue. You are just like, you are your sexual orientation. You can't make somebody bend their sexual orientation because you want to be wanted. That's not how that goes. That's not how that's ever going to go. Just like little Duval <laughs> can't control this uh, scene. Little Duval had the option of fast forwarding. Right there on the left, that picture you see on the left, that's a condom. Little Duval knew what time it was and could have fast forwarded, but he stayed and watched. Um, I have a hard time believing Little Duval is so shocked by this. Little Duval has been 20 plus years in the in entertainment community, and he's been in mo uh, mostly black entertainment. Please don't think a lot of gay stuff ain't going on in the black entertainment community because it is. And he's seen some stuff. I don't know. And I'm not saying he's participated, but I'm saying little Duvall has seen some stuff. So I don't know why he, he's over here playing in these comments, trying to act all outraged. He has seen some things in his 20 plus years in the entertainment industry. He just has. Um, gosh, I was gonna make another point, but yeah, uh, that's that's his view. Oh, god dang it. What was I going to say about the, the industry? Something about the industry I was going to add on. I can't remember. But yeah, so people are going crazy over this scene. So, uh I have my opinions on the scene and I'll I'll talk about how I view how I feel about it in part 2 and my views on Gay men and sex. It's a whole, I have a whole set of thoughts about that. And I, I, I don't want to share it in this video. I, I want to tie it into adult entertainment and what I've seen and what I prefer to see. Okay, I'll be back with that. But that's Lil Duval. Um, some say being homophobic. No, you have a preference and your sexual orientation kind of dictates what you want to watch. But um, he could have turned it if he didn't like it. And he should have turned it if he didn't like it. He had, he had, he had time. I wonder if he watched the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, uh, tune in for part two. Bye.